Hello everyone, in this video we will be looking at how these two HCO5 Bluetooth modules communicate with each other and how to test the connection. Alright, so let's get started. This is a transmitting station and this is the receiving station. So over here I have an Arduino hooked up to a HCO5 and over here I have another Arduino hooked up to another HCO5. Alright, so if you take a closer look, you can see that I've labeled the HCO5 modules. So M here indicates that it's configured as the master and 98D3 are the first four characters of the address of this HCO5. Similarly here FCA8 is, are the first four characters of the address of this HCO5 and S indicates that this HCO5 is configured as a slave. So I've labeled them because sometimes I mess them up and I'm not sure which is master and which is slave. So at that point of time labeling comes into good use. So I really suggest that you label your HCO5s. Alright so Digging in further, the circuitry for both the transmitting station and receiving station is exactly the same. And um, I've used an Arduino Uno here and an Arduino Nano here. You can use any Arduino, any type of Arduino will do for this setup. Alright, so let's get started with the testing. Alright, so for the first test, I've connected both the Arduinos to my laptop so that they are powered on and I flipped them around so that you can see the red LEDs. So if both the HCO files are connected with each other and they are ready for data exchange that is if you have done everything properly until this point you should be seeing that the LEDs are blinking slowly and they are double blinking like shown in this. So if all is good you can move on to the next test. All right. So for the next test, we will be sending an integer value 1, 2, 3 or 123 from the transmitting station and it will be, it will be wirelessly transmitted to the receiving station and at the receiving station we will display it on the serial monitor. I will show you this on my laptop. Alright, so on the left we have the code for the transmitting station and on the right we have the code for the receiving station. So let's go ahead and upload the code into the transmitting Arduino. So since we've connected both the uh, transmitting and the receiving station Arduinos into the same laptop, you need to upload the code into the correct Arduino, which in this case is the transmitting Arduino. So you must choose the correct COM port. So if you're not sure which COM port belongs to which station, that is which Arduino, plug out the receiving uh, station Arduino. So let's go and do that. Okay, so once you've done that, we should only be seeing one port, so COM5. So COM5 definitely belongs to the transmitting station. So let's select that and let's go and upload the code. Let's wait for it to upload. Okay, done. So next, plug in the receiving station Arduino and let's go on to the receiving station code. And again, make sure you choose the correct COM port. So COM5 was the transmitting station so definitely COM3 belongs to the receiving station so choose that and let's go and upload the code so let's wait for it to upload all right so that's done so now we want to see the data that is being received by the receiving station so we go ahead and open the serial monitor and make sure you select oh we are already getting some data so make sure you select the baud rate as 9600 and the line ending as new line and then you should be seeing a long string of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So if you're seeing this, then you've done it. Oh, and just one last thing. Just swap the master and the slave HCO5 and redo the entire testing process just to make sure that the data can flow in the other direction as well. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.